Richard Southern is with us, and Richard, we're getting a first look at some stunning new images, some close-ups of the sun. And it's safe to look directly at your television set, Mark, and you don't have to worry about this. But this is neat. We're looking here at the most detailed images wow. ever taken. Isn't that neat? Uh, these are kernel-shaped blobs of plasma bubbling on the sun's surface. Mark, each one is the size of Texas, thereabouts. Pretty cheese, crazy. Cheese curds and gravy. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> a little poutine. Look, maybe caramel corn or something. <laughs> Anyways, the images were taken using a new solar te telescope atop a volcano in Hawaii. Astronomers hope the new images will unveil some of the sun's mysteries, like why its outer atmosphere is hotter than its surface and what dictates its magnetic seasons. The sun is uh, 4.6 billion years old and is about a million times larger than Earth. And yes, it kind of looks a little delicious there, Mark. Wow. We're used to seeing the waves come off the top of it, but uh, that's something different for sure. Pretty cool. All right. The next story uh, sounds like a Seinfeld plot line. U.S. postal worker being accused of stashing some undelivered mail. Is it Newman? Is this Newman? Uh, no, it's actually a Virginia man uh, by the name of Jason Dela Cruz. And he pled guilty today, Mark, to... Uh, charges of delay of mail. What he did was, he was a U.S. postal worker, and he was caught with a public storage unit full of undelivered mail. Now, he said he felt pressured and couldn't make the time to complete his mail route. He told authorities he rented the storage unit for 49 bucks per month for the sole reason of storing the undelivered mail. Now, he said he did intend to deliver the mail, but fell behind, never got around to it. Mark, in his defense, the authorities went through the unit, and they said the vast majority of the undelivered mail was advertisements. So well, did we, did so we really just, need to be getting that? Yeah, he's saving his customers uh, something that they didn't want in the first place. You don't have any undelivered news you're, you have in a storage unit, do you? Uh, I do not at Good. this point, no. Good. We'll make sure you get, get it before the end of the show. Excellent. The case. All right, the next topic is uh, something that we've been looking forward to. Uh, you and I, uh, this might be hard, but uh, some of the common slang words used by teens and Gen Zers. And I want everyone at home to play along. Is it Gen Z or Gen Z? I think it's Gen Z. How I'm do an, they say I'm it in an Canada? X, so I'm not quite sure. Anyways, it's what the kids are talking about today, the slang words. And I want everyone to play along. We're going to play along. We're going to bring the word up. In this case, the first slang is wig. What do you think it means, Mark? Okay, well, I know it used to mean uh, if, if something was, uh, was wigging out, it wasn't feeling comfortable, but maybe it's been flipped. I, I think if you're wearing a wig, your you're looking good. Turns out it means something that's amazing, so shocking that your wig flew off, as an example. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> All right, that's new. Next slang word is fit. And that's another one I guess we can, I'm guessing, you remember you, you'd say something is fit, it means it's kind of good, right? It's good looking. Yeah, good you're looking. fit. Okay, let's bring up the you, actual you meaning, see if we're close here. Uh, it means um, the word outfit, it's a slang for the word outfit. So okay, that's your fit. You're wearing your fit. Okay. Like she had a uh, like fit that. outfit on. <laughs> We're looking pretty lame here, Mark. All right. So let's keep it going. Next word, shook. Uh, that's uh, probably a positive thing, well, right? Well, if you're, if you're shook, you're confused. You're, you don't know what's going on. Confused? Okay, we'll go with confused. What is it? Uh, surprised or scared? Very good, Mark. I think that one's been around for a while, though. That was probably a term that we used. Maybe come, it's come back. You're, you're very with it. You're very hip. Yeah. You surprised me. Final word, a uh, slang word, is tea. Uh, what could that mean? I'm, maybe some sort of beverage? Uh, tea is, uh, well, there we go. To gossip. To gossip. Someone's I talking about I wouldn't have expected that. Mark spilled all the tea. But how do you put that in a, into a sentence? Hey, Mark, you spilled all the tea about all the newsroom uh, gossip. I'm spilling the tea about something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll trust you, my now, friend. And now we're all hip and with it, and we can go about our day, Mark. Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to uh, take the L, as it were, the loss, and uh, move on. Thanks, stay, Richard. Stay fit, my friend. Cheers.